Spoiler alert, go to your room zombie. Fear the walking dead parents undertake drastic measures as civilization collapses. The zombie apocalypse caused chaos on the streets of Los Angeles on Sunday in the second episode of Amk's Fear the Walking Dead. The Walking Dead companion shows some Madison Clark lock children Nick and Alicia inside their home, while her boyfriend Travis Scott caught up in street riots with his ex-wife Lisa and their son Chris. Schoolboy Tobias, who had previously warned Madison that the apocalypse was coming, gave a dire prediction in the episode titled So Close, Yet So Far. Teens and Zombies, Madison and Travis were forced to cope with teenagers on Sunday's episode of Fear the Walking Dead as a zombie outbreak intensified. Communication will fail because no one's there to manage the servers. The electrical grid will collapse for the same reason. It's all going to go to hell and that's what they don't get. When civilization ends, it ends fast, he warned. When Madison told the youngster he could stay with her family until it was over, he gave her the ominous warning, this doesn't end. High fever, Alicia was trying to comfort her sick boyfriend Matt. Finding him sick and unbeknown to her close to death, she called her mother and told her Matt's temperature was a soaring 103. Madison, Travis and Nick, who were still in shock following their creepy encounter with undead Cal, warned Alicia to stay away from Matt and headed for his house as they planned to get away to the desert. Single quote W we need to get away from the city. We need to get away from people until we know what this thing is. Travis said. Plus 13. Information gap, Travis. Madison and Nick looked at a neighbor going forward with a birthday party. After arriving at Matt's house, Travis sent Alicia to fetch a glass of water and pulled away Matt's shirt to reveal a gruesome bite mark. Realizing the severity of his injury, Matt told his girlfriend, Listen to me. My parents will be home soon. I'm going to be fine. I'm not leaving you. I love you, Alicia said. He love you too, that's why you've got to go," he added. While Travis went to find Lisa and Chris, Madison headed to the school to locate some medication for drug addict Nick who was suffering withdrawal symptoms. After bumping into Tobias, who had been stashing food at the school in case of emergency, the pair came face to face with Principal Art Costa in the corridors. Headshot, Madison rescued Tobias by striking her undead principal in the head with a fire extinguisher. Immediately realizing that Art was one of the undead, Tobias pushed the teacher away as he tried to attack Madison. The pair fell down the stairs and as Tobias fought to stop the principal sinking his teeth into him, Madison grabbed a fire extinguisher and viewers heard the sound of Art's skull being crushed. While Madison was at the school, Alicia tried to leave the house and go to Matt's aid, much to the horror of her brother Nick. You don't know what it makes people do. You don't know what I had to do. He screamed. Matt will kill you. He will hurt you. Alicia, fearing something was wrong, turned back and opened the door to find Nick having a seizure on the floor. When their mother returned, Nick told her, Single quote SHE tried to leave. I stopped her. When Travis arrived at Lisa's house they called Chris and discovered he was caught up in a protest following the shooting of a homeless man by police. The parents found their son and ran through chaotic scenes as officers shot a zombie girl and riot police descended. What do you know? What have you seen? Lisa asked her ex-husband. I've seen what people do. What they don't do, Travis said. It doesn't make sense. You don't die. Travis eventually telephoned Madison, who had broken down in tears while washing Art's blood from her jacket. He told her, Maddie, I want you to go to the desert. Go now, don't wait. We'll find you. Before losing phone signal. After seeing her mother's terrified expression, Alicia heard screams coming from the family home across the road. Alicia ran for the door, thinking their neighbor was knowingly hurting her children, but Madison locked the front door before she could leave. 
Fear the Walking Dead will return on September 13.